how WordPress works in Builderall step by step. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question from a subscriber here on my YouTube channel, which is, can you make a tutorial a step by step on how to use WordPress in Builderall with domain and everything? And that's what I'm gonna to cover today, so stay tuned. Hey, my name is Fabio. I do videos every Tuesday and Friday about making money online and helping you become great. All right, so let's give it a start. I have the screen for your full attention. Make sure you pay attention. This is gonna be very step-by-step -step how to do it. So let's jump into my computer and let's give it a start. So here we are at the dashboard of Builderall. To go there, of course, you go to office.builderall.com. And then here you'll have WordPress three-click integration. But here we need to go come here to DNS Center because we need to connect first our domain. So we connect our, our domain with the Pixel Perfect, you know, website builder or the Cheetah Builder website builder. And the stats should uh, show okay. Let me show you here. If we go to here to the Pixel Perfect site builder. So as you can see here, I have my fabiorig.com domain connected. So if you don't have a domain connected, you need to create a website here and connect the domain. Once it's connected here, then you're ready to go. Okay, let's go here back to the builder all dashboard. All right, let's go here to WordPress. Let's enter. All right, as you can see, I already have a, a blog right there, a, a website here. So first thing we do is create a website. Now here we have, uh, I have my own domain or I didn't have my domain. So you don't need to have a domain if you don't want, you can use builder alls. So you can add any subdomain here and you can check if it's available or you can connect a domain here. So you could either connect your domain, which is fabric.com, this one. But in this case right here, I wanna use a subdomain. So I'll just click here subdomain and I'll add here WordPress and then I'll add my uh, domain and check connection. Connected domain, it says it's connected, so it's, it's okay. So the name of the website here, we can add the name of the website. I'll ju just call it WordPress site. Here we select the language of the blog. Let's select English. Here we put a template, we'll, I like just put it default. And then here it's the admin, uh, the username to log in on the back office. So here let's just F O R I K, and let me create here a password. And then type again the password. And then let's create website, okay. So we wait a minute here. All right. So now we have this right here. We can open the website and this, we're gonna see how the website looks. So it creates a, by default, here is the, the, the website on the WordPress. See the title that I've just gave right there. All right. And then you come here to open admin and here you can edit the website. So first we're gonna add the username that we've put before, which is F or Eek, and then the password here. And then here we're gonna hit remember me. So we don't need to add, um, put that again. All right, so here's the dashboard of the WordPress website. So here, when we come here to uh, my sites and visit website here, we can always see the website, how it looks now. So here is our website. We then come here into dashboard. That is to edit our website and everything. And then what we can do right here on top, we have customize your website. We can start from here or change the theme. Let's do that. So these are the themes that we have installed already. And here we have wordpress.org themes, which has thousands of themes that you can pick from. And as you can see, there's loads, 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 loads. The list just goes on and on. Literally, you could be here for some time and there's still websites. So let's, I like, uh, minimalism kind of websites. Let's search for minimalist. Okay. So let's install this. So if you come here to team details, you could always see the, how the site looks. So this is the one that we've just installed. Let's go here to, uh, okay. So let me just come here again to minimalist and just see. 
oh yeah it's installed right there uh, again we can come here too and see how the websites look if you want to install any other one uh, but it says this one is installed so let's customize and here we have already a post um let's activate and publish there we go now let's exit here and let's here go to the our dashboard now we can view the website and there we go the team is already there we have one uh, post right there let's go here to that the dashboard again and let's go to posts um, and see all our posts and we can come here up here and add new okay this is just if they want to introduce you to it okay now here this is the editor very simple here you add a title um, hey hey it's Fabio Auric here we can add whatever text we want here our post or whatever so you can adjust this the way you like you can take put let's go ahead here to, to the add button you have all these things that you can do here images galleries quotes let's select here image and let's upload one okay let's select this one all right there we go uh, we can of course delete this and adjust the way as we like just just an example now here categories you can have a categories you can just add a new one and add categories let's say let's put here just a mindset and add new category so this will stay on the mindset category we can have as many categories as we want then we can preview if we want see how it looks and there we go that's our post on the category mindset right there then here and then we can go ahead and publish we can click here and view the post if we want or go here and see it right away let's close this all right so let's go back here to the uh, to the dashboard and here we go we have our two posts so we can come always here and visit the website see how it looks there we go the post that we just did and the first one that was there so we click on the post and here we go okay let's go back let's go back here to the dashboard and remember you when you're logged in you always will see my web my sites on the left all right so here on the appearance you can change all kinds of things here let's go to widgets right here where you can add things to the sidebar to the footer let's go here to the sidebar and let's just uh, you know let's add an image over there so we just click and drag and add it to the sidebar and we can give a, a title for this um, image to show on the website let's just give a name links to products let's just add an image select one okay just to select google ads here and then here we can also change the size and also we can have a, add a link to the image if we want to right we're gonna add it and there you go then we just click save and we can add whatever we want here to the right or to the footer to whatever we want so let's just add something else here to the right let's add um what something like uh, we can add a video let's just add the uh, recent posts so we can put it wherever we want we can again give it a title to the posts just uh, my recent posts yeah and then done here and that's there then when we come here and visit website oh so where's the bar not showing hmm let me see why so let's go here to the dashboard and find out why it's not showing so let's go here to appearance let's go to widgets where we did hmm okay so it's there manage with live preview let's see this Oh, yeah we can see how it looks on real life here mm, oh okay so it says your team has one other ways but is not particular doesn't display oh so it just doesn't display here on the first page only when you click on the um on the uh, here on the um post oh because it doesn't have space it shows on the bottom here so the side body is here everything is okay all the text that we've added the link the image it's there so let's hit publish and that should show on the right when the screen is bigger so let's just go and see it let's go to view websites and let's click on it 
and boom, there it is on the right. The links to the products is there. You have the image. If we click, uh, the, these are the posts. And if we click here, if we click on the image, of course, it will go to the website. Let's go here back to the dashboard. Here in appearance, let's go to um, customize. And we can customize here the, the website as we like. So like here's the title of the website. I'm just going to call it Fabio Eric WordPress site. And here's just the tagline, just my WordPress site. Okay, publish. Okay, there, there it is it's already there. And uh, we can select here a logo to our website. Let me just grab a logo here. Maybe I'll just grab uh, Builder All's logo. So let me just go ahead and print screen this logo right there. Okay. And let's grab that. Okay. Screenshots. Here it is. Okay. Select. Okay. We, s we define what we want for the logo, everything. And just crop and publish and boom there it is already on the website looking great so of course here you could change more uh, colors and all that kind of stuff menus uh, you can add menus here and all that kind of stuff and then we have uh, additional stuff here that we can do so let's exit this and um, right another thing that you can do uh, here on settings on general you can change here a few options for the website like the uh, the time zone and how it's going to look time format and all that kind of stuff and also one very important thing which is here on permalinks i recommend you do this which is this one right here which is post name right here this what it does is, is we'll add the post of the name to the url let's save okay so let's come here and see how it looks all right boom there we have it we have the the URL on the that URL has the the name of the of the post, which is great for the sale. And there we have it. The website looks very simple. You can always come here to the dashboard, and here we have all the options uh, to manage the website. So I recommend you take a look at this. And here again uh, on the dashboard of Builderall, you would always come here to WordPress integration. Then you will come here and then you can, you know, open the website and see the website, how it's looking and the URL is there. And then you can also open admin to edit the website. You have also pages where you can add pages. Uh, if you want comments, you have users, you can add users, you have other tools here and that's what's up. All right. I hope you found that helpful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you unlike it, give it a thumbs down. If you enjoyed this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you know somebody that will benefit from this video, please share with them. All right, beneath the video, I will leave a link for the Builderall 14 day free trial. So if you wanna try this tool out for yourself and see how you can build a WordPress website within Builderall, so I'll leave that below. With that said, that's all for this video. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel, if that's the case. And I hope you have an amazing day. Always believe in yourself. You are capable of achieving whatever you set your mind to. I believe in you. Take massive action. You got this. Go all in. You got this. See you.